Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd bring you along for an HP tuner session. I promise I won't, uh, I won't put you to sleep. Um, I am a novice at this and um, I'm learning as we speak. So uh, I just want to thank the guys over at Fummins Tech uh, for helping me out. There's been a few guys that have shared their uh, tune tables for the Cummins and whatnot. So uh, I've gone in there and I've looked and, and of, of course a lot of it uh, doesn't pertain to the Detroit because it's such a, a different torque curve. So uh, I've gone in basically and played with every uh, setting in HP tuners to try to make the Detroit uh, shift nicely. And I'm slowly getting there. So um, I'll show you the HP tuners, uh, load a tune and then... Um, we can uh, we go load the tune in and go try it. So, so as uh, as I mentioned before, I am learning. So, um, what I've had to do to get this to work was to turn off the torque based scheduling, and the um, torque reduction disable both of that and also the adaptive learning, um, so that it won't go into the uh, power stroke tables and go and change all the settings so um, so generally what I did is I turned up the uh, shift pressures to the clutches and the biggest changes I made were um, <clears throat> the biggest changes I made to the clutches and pressures is basically three to five I I changed all these settings in here where it flared. So where you see the 50s is where I've upped all the pressures. Um, so it stopped it flaring. And off going clutches as well. I've turned those up, not as much, but I have turned those up as well in this area here. <coughs> The, uh, the line pressure, I turned it from 300 to 350. And then the biggest changes are all in the shift scheduling. So I've changed the RPM wide open throttles, first, second, uh, and third to 2200. And then from three to five, 2500, and five to six, 2700 and then that works about perfect. And then you can go in here and you can change the, the speed at which the shifts take. So you go in here <clears throat> and you can change the speed. So I, I just changed a couple of these speeds now and I've saved them. And then I can uh, go and load the tune, I'll show you that. I've changed all the tow haul mode speeds as well to adapt to the um, or more suited for the uh, Detroit and then the torque converter I've changed I've enabled the hot tunes so I went in here and changed this so at 120 degrees uh, Fahrenheit uh, the hot hot tunes can be activated so I've locked the torque converter second third, fifth, and sixth. <clears throat> and fourth is only used when the uh, transmission is really cold, so it doesn't really pertain to this application. Uh, so <clears throat> this is where I've told the, the torque converter to lock up. Uh, this particular one's in fifth, so I've told it to lock up at 26 miles per hour. basically works really well. I've got it locking from second all the way to sixth now, so it works really nice. Lots to learn here. I'm still learning. I changed all the uh, uh, torque converter application cycles. I think it comes stock at two or f I think four seconds and I've put them to one second, so. Torque management's all disabled. Anyway, 
Anyway, that's about it. That's highly recommend this program for anyone that wants to tune their fummins uh, or any other engine for that matter. And it makes a 5R110 usable behind basically any engine. So we go down into the table here and we just turn off the PCM section because I've already written everything in here I want to write. And now I write the entire file to the TCM. So I say write and it's going to erase the current file on the TCM and then it's going to load the new file. So it's you know basically four minutes so so that's it it's completed and just close that out so that's the load completed and now we got to take it for a drive and see how it goes
HP tuners, guys. It's uh, it's a miracle. I tell you, with an operation like this, uh, it would have been hard, hard to get this transmission to shift right. And now it's almost to the point I can lend the truck out and somebody that never driven this thing would be able to drive it no problem. So, without blowing up the transmission. Well, before, geez, you put in more than three-quarter throttle in and it would uh, flare. So, And here's a downshift from overdrive to direct. Just a tap of the throttle and bam, it's downshifting. I've got it set up to run like a, a sort of a medium-duty Allison. It's locked from gear to gear, so uh, the torque converter is locked up all the time. And uh, I don't get many flares that way. It works really nice. And then I keep it in its sweet spot right now, 1800 RPM. And I don't lug it, and it's uh, very happy. I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for further videos on the uh, Detroit. Take care.